Hello guys, welcome to RK Tutors. Today we are going to take a look at how to use match photo function in SketchUp and how to use photographs as references in SketchUp for 3D modeling. So you can find the match photo function under the camera tool and there you have match new photo or you can go to tray and here if the match photo function doesn't show up you can turn it on by going to window, default tray and enable this match photo function and you can add a new photo from here or you can go to camera and click on match new photo. So here you can select and open an image that you like. Here I have this rendered photograph of a building but I don't think you'll be using this tool for taking references from rendered photographs. You might consider taking references from live photos but for the sake of this tutorial let's go ahead and open this image. When you open this image you see a lot of grid lines. You have vanishing points, one on the left and one on the right for red and green axis and you have this reference axis lines, two for red axis and two for green axis. And in here, you also have this origin point. On the right hand side, on the match photo function, you have basically three different styles. First one is the inside or the indoors, basically for the interior reference images and above, basically for the aerial pictures references. And last one is outside, more suitable for this outside perspective image and you can enable and disable planes from here. You can also adjust the spacing between these grids. Right now it is 1 meter, I'll leave it 1. So to make a 3D model referring to this perspective image, you need to adjust the origin point first. So I'll set it around somewhere this line. I'm assuming that this line is basically my ground level. And now you have to align these reference lines from the axis. So for the X axis, let's align it right on the top edge of this building. You don't have to be perfect with this. And also align this point on the other corner. And do the same with this green axis. Now these two lines are set, you'll see there's this horizon line and you can assume if the horizon line is horizontal then your perspective is well set. Right now it's not because we haven't set these two lines yet. So I'll move this point to this corner and do the same with the other point. And now we are left with this last green axis. I'm setting this right on to the origin point and on the same edge the second point. So now you can see this blue axis is going along this edge of the building right to the top. Now that we have set all these axis lines and the origin they seem perfect we can click on done and our perspective is set. Now if you go to the scene this scene here is saved and if you orbit around it, you'll find that field of view is also changed accordingly. So if I just see what the field of view is set at, go to camera, click on field of view. Right now it's set on 94.67 degrees. Double click on this scene to come back to this view. I'll delete this component. And now we can actually create 3D model from this reference image. I'll start with the rectangle, snapping it to this origin point and right arrow key to shift this onto this red axis. And I can end this rectangle here. Same way make a line from this segment on this perpendicular axis ending the line here. Basically trying to make this face of the building. So now we have these two faces of the building. If I orbit around, you'll see these two faces are done. You can make a box out of it and extrude to have a complete box. So this is the main profile of this building. Go back to this view and now I can start and add some more details. Starting with these extrusions. So 
so if I orbit around this is how it looks and I can continue adding more details to this So this is how you can proceed to add more and more details to this 3D model from this reference image. And here let's change the field of view. I'll set it to 60 and I'll save another scene for this. So I can go back to the reference image, add more details and come back to this scene to finish off those changes. Check out our more SketchUp tutorials from the SketchUp tutorials playlist. If you like this tutorial, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for all the latest updates.